Hi there, this is Doug Cuban of GIS Coordinated Limited, and in this video I will be showing you QGIS, the open source desktop GIS, accessing the Orbis raster data product, which is an XYZ tile server. So here we have QGIS 3, Girona. It's actually a, a sort of early, early release of Girona. This is, uh, so, so I'm, I'm keeping up with the latest versions here. If you do have an older version such as 2, an early 2, you do need uh, a little plugin to make this, make the XYZ tile server actually work properly. So do let us know if you do have an early version of 2. The, the mid, medium or sort of middle range onwards of, of 2, sort of 2.2 two, I think it was, or 2.18 or something, uh, do actually have the, the, the clear support for XYZ tiles, which you can just see over here in the browser. So if you do have an early version, just, just let us know. But it's it's highly recommended that you upgrade to 3 anyway. It's It's a great product been using it a lot and not really found any issues with it. So you have XYZ tiles on the left there and with a right hand mouse click you can click on new connection. We'll give this connection a name, we'll call it Orbis Color. Now after you've placed an order with us, you will receive this URL effectively. The, the, the key thing about this URL is indeed the key. So there's an API key which is generated for yourself, for your organization, and that is what grants you access to the service. It's a secure link, HTTPS, so it has a certificate. And in this case here, with this URL, we're, we're just hitting a single um, server in the in the domain, in the data cloud. And we're hitting the Orbis data product. And at the very end of this URL, you can see the structure for querying the XYZ tiles, the standard structure for that, the standard format, which tells QGIS how to find these tiles. So Z are the levels. So that goes from about 0 to 18 or even more if it's really zooming in a lot more. So 0 you're looking at the sort of world view, shall we say, scaled, uh, zoomed really far out to show the whole world. And then 18 zoomed really far in to see, see street levels. And then you can see a little slash there, it's almost like a subfolder. And then a row and a column and a slash there as well. And, it's, and that's how it picks out individual tiles. So I click OK, like I said, bring back PNG raster tiles, press OK. And nothing is drawn initially because it's just added the connection to your browser, that's all, as, as a data source effectively. So, but if I double click on all this color, straight away I get the uh, overview, like I said, zero uh, level, level zero from the tile server. So this is showing the whole world. So I can use the normal zoom in and zoom out tools and pan, etc. As I zoom in, it goes through the tiles from the server, queries the server, brings back the tiling. I'll zoom in closer. And what we're doing here is zooming in, zooming in, uh, click once, half, half, half the um, scale, half the distance across the screen, and it will actually query the next level of tiles. So we're sort of going into the bigger numbers now until we get to about 18. So I can use the zoom, sorry, the pan tool, and move the map across. And 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 we're in a, as a normal raster uh, layer in in QGIS. We're we're uh, just using the, the standard tools, all the tools that are available uh, within QGIS, whatever you want to do, and uh, it'll sit there in this uh, layer window. You can see the raster icon, and it'll set that as a normal raster layer. So when I go to properties, you can look at the source for the coordinate system, which by default, 3857. And you can look at all the information, the background technical information about the raster uh, service. So, um, which which uh, could, could be useful for, for yourself in terms of what levels are actually available and can come back uh, the, the um, 
extent information, but also the fact this 256 by 256 pixel uh, for the tiles width and height, and um, and confirmation of the uh, URL in there as well. The so that that that's all the default default QGIS tools that are there that you can just carry on using as normal. I'll just zoom out a bit. See some more. Well, you can see some topography there, which is um, built into our uh, map service. And there's more about Orbis uh, as a data product in another video. Uh, this video is purely about QGIS. And as I, as I as I zoom out, I can obviously you know see more information. You can see some, uh, more topography, etc. But one thing you can do is access a different. Uh, set of styled raster map, map backgrounds. I've, here's, here's one new connection I made earlier and um, that's just the general properties in that. If we go to edit, the only difference you can see there is I put grayscale in the URL is back here. If we go to edit, you can see index 256 for the index 256 color scheme, uh, color um, color rasters so but this one is grayscale so I just called it Orbis grayscale so that's new connection I'll just drag it in there and I'll turn off the color and we've now got grayscale so and then we could just go from one to the other so, so there's there's several themes in there start styles and uh, that's all detailed in the uh, email uh, email documentation that we sent out to you having received an order. Thank you for watching this video. If you do have any questions or would like to know more about the Orbis uh, data product, then please do get in contact with us. Thank you.